Well, hi there, guys. Um, I'm on the beta for the Phoenix Firestorm. So quite often I have to do reinstalls, clean installs, um, back up my settings, um, stuff like that. Re, you know, um, you know, not messing about basically. So what I'm going to show you here is um, how to back up your settings, um, back up all your important stuff, uninstall the um, viewer, then reinstall the viewer and re reinstall all these settings uh, the quickest way, the way I do it. I think this is the best way guys anyway. so. So what we have here is obviously, you know, me and, me and the viewer. And um, what we have here is I'm just looking through my settings and showing you what's what. Showing you my settings, basically. Right, what we have here in a second is the directories where stuff's stored. Now what I like to do guys is I like to make a second life directory somewhere easy like your C drive or you know just somewhere simple I'm just showing you my files what are you know um, in those directories at the moment. Now what I'm going to show you here guys is make a directory for uh, I've already got one there you can see but I'm making a new one just to show you guys as you can see I call it SL stuff and then inside there I'm gonna also store my chat logs which I call chat logs so I'll have one directory with all my SL stuff in uh, then right so here you see that I opened the directory with my chat logs in and I'm copying them to my new chat log directory so my chat logs have now been moved over so you can see there I did that by opening the chat log folder from inside the viewer now this is my cache folder and what you do with your cache folder it's up to you, you can either copy your cache or you can delete it. I like to just get rid of it um, like that and just delete it. I, I find it like a much better for a clean start. It's not allowing me to delete some of it because it's the viewers open. See if you click on those um, buttons there, they'll open the folders and then you can copy your stuff. So here I'm setting the cache folder to the new folder I've just made there you go SL stuff and that will move when it's restarted and you can see there that I've set the chat log folder to the new folder also now what you want to do is select all your settings and back them up to the same folder like that and just select all and back up and then you can restore all your settings your chat logs and everything when you reinstall your new viewer yeah so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Windows control panel and we're gonna uninstall the viewer So that's what we do, We're just uninstalling the viewer. Now we come back in and download the uh, copy of the viewer you want. So download your new viewer.
install your new viewer install it to wherever you want to install it you I mean technically you could even install that to the same directory if you wanted you know to your SL stuff directory personally you know I'm what I'm doing here before I install it is I'm just looking for any stray files that I've missed and deleting them and now I'm installing the new viewer so decide where you want to install it you see you can change the folder there that's totally up to you I've left it um, yeah and in install that this is a nightly build as you can see just looking inside the folder there you see my backup settings the ones that we backed up and my chat logs so they're all in there also my cache will go in there once uh, once we restart so let's start up the viewer and you will have to put your details your password username back in because you deleted your cache so you know you'll have to I mean this is like totally starting from square one again it resets all your settings and everything and um, obviously you backed your settings up so you won't lose anything but this is great as well if you had problems with your viewer um, you know any settings that perhaps you adjusted and forgot about or whatever this will sort errors out and things like that right here we go so we get back into SL and here is the clever bit you're gonna go to where you back to your settings up and you're gonna restore them you're also gonna go to the directories now right, here we go you wanna move your cache to that folder if you want you don't have to do this with your cache it just makes it simpler so the cache is now there now your chat logs set those to the correct folder where you back them up see chat logs now we go for the backup and this will restore all your settings select your backup where you stored it and click select all and restore restore and quit and you're gonna it's gonna quit SL and when it restarts back up all your settings will be back all your chat logs will be back um, your cache will start storing again and you know I mean you can tweak your cache I, I, um, I had my cache on a, a RAM disk but I actually found it wasn't worth it so I went back because I've got an SSD anyway so kinda like it's fast on an SSD anyway so here we go back into SL right so now we're back into um, SL and there you see the cache is in SL stuff the chat logs are in my chat logs folder and um, all my settings are backed up to the right place and so if you keep it like this guys once you've got it set up like this it is very very easy just to download a new viewer um, back up your settings restore your settings you don't have to do the chat logs thing every time because they'll be in your folder so once you've got it set up like this guys I think you know you'll find it a lot simpler and of course if there's any problems with your viewer any glitchiness or whatever you can just change viewer reset settings um, I, I hope I explained it 
um, so you understand it guys and it's kind of a bit hard to explain but you've got the video to look at as well um, so I really hope this helps guys um, if it helped give give it a like um, comments down below and uh, catch you soon guys